Guys, I realize the title is not on the line here, but I don't think the champ can afford to give less than a full effort. Well, then I've got some good news for you, Cole, because there's a better chance of Saxton scoring a date for Friday night than there is with the champ giving less than 100%. superstar in WWE, but indeed his work ethic and accomplishments have been exceptional. Byron, there are 1.3 billion people in India who worship the ground that... What's going on here? Kevin Owens came to me before the broadcast and wanted me to inform everyone that this is now the Kevin Owens Show. And then there's the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, who wants to exercise his brutal strength and devious tactics in this match. There's nothing devious about it. Like any good region, Mahal is a master strategist who always has a plan for his opponent. All right, it's Jinder Mahal answering back. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. Splash. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He planned for this and could still rally. German suplex. Owens taking the respect he deserves. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. What a splash. Guys, Kevin Owens has a huge arsenal of dangerous moves. What's the big one to watch out for? Well, it has to be the stunner. Owens has used that move to great effect here in WWE. I'll be watching out for his frog splash or cannonball. Can you imagine being crushed by the full force of Kevin Owens? I'd rather not. Set in, set up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I had a feeling this might happen. 
You know, a lot of people say Jinder Mahal's WWE Championship win came out of nowhere, but he really was a star on the rise in early 2017, especially at WrestleMania. Yeah, in a packed field at the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the modern-day Maharaja almost outlasted 32 other men to win the biggest ever WrestleMania Battle Royal. we've all been waiting for. O'Neill and the pure physicality he's bringing down to the ring. This is one big guy. Hey, he's more than just muscles, Michael. Titus has perhaps uh, uh, the uh, biggest uh, heart uh, in WWE. Uh, Few folks can match Titus O'Neill's list of humanitarian awards. Listen, I respect the good work Titus has done, but nobody's ever won a match in WWE due to their volunteer work. Uh, believe me, Corey, Titus knows when it's time to hang up the hugs and start handing a single star tag partner or even a manager Titus O'Neil truly is the real deal worldwide and as this one gets underway we can only hope that this Newcastle crowd doesn't start chanting Byron's name hey they've done weirder things and the ropes save him there I don't 
don't think people realize just how difficult it is to make your way to the ropes while being in a hold such as that one. Uh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. Body on body. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know he had it in him. What technical prowess from Titus O'Neil. He's a big guy. reversed paying for that mistake great power inverted suplex titus o'neill looking uneasy now taking on some offense but he expected as much byron what's a strategy that you'd employ against the top one percenter michael i had a few matches against ec3 when we were both on nxt and even though he was egotistical back then he's somehow more deranged now a guy that into himself can often let vanity take over and lose focus on a match. EC3 doesn't get distracted. His reflexes are in the top 1%. He's like a cat. The only way to beat EC3 is to be in the top 9 tenths of 1%. Offense like this is how EC3 has people chanting his name. He's gaining the upper hand here. Titus O'Neil is bleeding profusely now. Is it enough? And O'Neal easily getting the shoulder up. He's not giving up that easy. Titus O'Neal with a nice reversal. A torturous knee. Scoop slam into position. On the move. EC3 going for it. Oh my god! He can do it here. One, two, three. EC3 with a victory. Here is your winner, EC3. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. <laughs> I think I might need to sell some of my Titus Worldwide stock after a loss like that. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow. Tamina is a scary woman. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! That is a scary human being. And I'd 
say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. As we get underway, it'll be interesting to see if Tamina can get the upper hand early. And then there's Kyrie Sane, who has a surprising amount of intensity in all of her offense. Not exactly what you expect from someone who calls himself the Pirate Princess. Well, what I'd expect is for Kyrie Sane to accept the fact that she's not an actual pirate. But that hasn't happened yet. And here's Tamina. Tamina going for it. Harsh impact. Go behind. German suplex. Nine. What have we got here? Look at this. Boom. Nice. Bang right in the face. Just launched. And look at the quickness by Sane. Kyrie Sane is just so fun to watch. So quick, so deliberate. But what does she have to do to win this match, Byron? Well, you said it yourself, Michael. She has to rely on her speed and quickness to disorient her opponent and put them away as quickly as possible. Yeah, no one in the ring with Kyrie Sane should let the pirate princess nickname fool them. She's got a treasure chest full of moves at her disposal. All extremely dangerous moves, Corey, especially the insane elbow. I knew she could do it. Stomping. Ouch. Batting down the hatches. Kyrie's about to feed the fishes. She's taking command of the situation. Woo wee. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Spinning back fist on the money. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? And she. Kyrie said up top. Well, that was some reversal by Tamina. Up on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. She's going for the cover. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. And look at the quickness by Sane. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Snap suplex, very effective. She's beginning to flag a little. She can win. The super kick! What a great move. Tamina Snooka, man, just put this one to bed. Tamina Snooka with the early cover. One, two. Oh, wow, Sage just barely able to kick out. Not yet. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Boom! Wow! Lights out! Uh -oh. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there, Michael. Zane looking for something big. Engine of Goob Two. Yes! Zane takes it. I knew she could do it. Here is your winner, Kyrie Zane. Big win here, guys. Big win for the Pirate Princess, Kyrie Zane. W marks the spot for her tonight. The arena is still buzzing over that great match. The pride of Long Island.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 447 pounds, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. These are two guys who eat, drink, sleep, breathe, and bleed sports yeah. entertainment. In fact, they co-host a pretty cool series about pro wrestling toys. Quit sucking up to these two, Saxton. They can't get an action figure made for you. You'll just have to become a top-level commentator like Cole and myself to become immortalized in toy form like we already have. Time to party with the Prophets. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. Firing with the Street Profits out here. I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Here we go, guys, as the crowd here in Newcastle settles back into their seats for what promises to be an action-packed match. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Not looking good right now. Raw tag made. Oh, and a kick right to the midsection. Suplex. I was wearing the features clean off your face. Splash in the corner. Wow. And Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Neck breaker! Bottom uppercut! That'll cost some teeth. Scoop slam! Montez displaying magnificent athleticism. This is what he feeds off of. Hoping to make a tag here. It sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Are we going to see the tag, Byron? I think so, Michael. I really do. He's getting closer, Corey. And look at his partner. He wants in in the worst way. And gets the tag. Splash in the corner. Wow. Tagged in. He's in control. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Well measured. Ooh, what impact. Uh-oh, submission move. Big back body drop. Oh, man. Point of the elbow. 
to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending.
The title may not be on the line tonight, guys, but still expect the same energy from the champ here in this one. Yeah, same here, Cole. I don't think the champ knows how to take it easy. That's probably why he's been so successful. Ricochet loves the fast-paced style, loves to fly. It's what's endeared him to the WWE Universe so quickly. And made him a headache to his opponents. That could happen here tonight. And across the way is Drew McIntyre, a competitor custom-built to dominate the WWE ring with his impressive array of abilities and power that could drop a giant. More like custom-built to inflict pain. I think Drew... I would love to know what made him think that was a good idea. Oof. Nice offense from Drew McIntyre. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Bite. It's not looking good for him here. He's got to get out of that corner. Exhilarating. Exciting. Innovative. All that describes Ricochet. He's so precise, too, on top of his speed and athleticism. Corey, would you say he's the complete package when it comes to his in-ring work? Oh, absolutely, Cole. In fact, while we all know Ricochet is one of the best high flyers this business has to offer, people tend to underestimate his technical ability and impressive strength. It wouldn't hurt for him to show those aspects of his game off in this match either. It'll definitely take his opposition by surprise. Snap headbutt. He thinks he has it. One, two, oh my, three. how in the world did he kick out of that? Just when you thought it was over. Wow. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Wow, what a sequence. Ricochet with the slam. Drew McIntyre looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. He won't quit, but it might be better if he did. McIntyre made a great comeback to NXT. Now he's going to need another comeback right now. Going up top, all the way from the top. Whoa, McIntyre able to avoid damage there. Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. Shoulders. And raid. That's all it takes. Six. Seven. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. Two. Back now inside the ring. Wait a minute. This one's over, and here's your winner. Drew McIntyre's return to... Uh-oh, business is about to pick up. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Super kick, a double super kick. Straight punch. 
Kick to the gut. Double under. Hook. Future shock. Drew McIntyre sizing it up. 